welcome everybody from my side as well. Um, and yeah, I want to uh, welcome to the last uh, webinar of this uh, series. Uh, but before we jump into the topic, uh, please acknowledge the disclaimer on the Milton Biotech products and services. Thank you so much. So in the previous webinars, we have seen already different approaches on how we can study the tumor microenvironment. On one hand, we can analyze the tumor from the special uh, context, either using 3D or 2D microscopy technologies, but we can also analyze uh, the different cell types that form the tumor uh, by using flow cytometry or sequencing. Tumor is a very complex tissue. Uh, but now in this webinar, in this particular session, we will focus on the analysis of the role of the immune system within the tumor. Um, so one part of the component of the immune system uh, remains that uh, one component that reacts to the tumor, it's actually circulating in the in the blood. And we have just learned from Lawrence how we can analyze uh, this uh, cellular component. But another part of the of the immune response remains actually within the tumor, and this is what we call a tumor infiltrating leukocytes. And we will focus now in this part on the analysis of the TILs. Useful approach to analyze uh, the tumor, uh, the tumor infiltrating leukocytes, is basically applying single cell analysis, and the power of this technology basically help us uh, by analyzing the individual gene expression profiles of the different cell types to uncover the cellular heterogeneity of the tumor. But before we run such analysis, we need to consider that the sample needs to uh, fulfill certain requirements. These samples need to be free of debris, contain highly viable cells or intact nuclei, and of course be in a single cell suspension. In order to prepare our tumor samples properly so that they fulfill all these requirements, it is important to use gentle methods and also work fast so that we prevent transcriptional changes in the cells. For this, we have put together a workflow series to prepare a, an optimize, help to optimize the preparation of tumors for single cell analysis. And these workflow solutions uh, start from the storage of tumors, moving to the dissociation and the proper cleanup of the tumors and suspensions. Uh, but of course, also we cover the isolation of particular cell types such as steels by using either magnetic cell isolation or multiparameters sorting. And last but not least, important is very to, uh, very important to apply a QC analysis of the samples before we um, apply them for single cell analysis. So let's start having a look to the storage of tumors. Sometimes it's necessary to store tumors because we need to ship them to collaboration partners or we cannot simply process them at the very same time when they have been extracted. So for this, it's quite convenient to uh, perform a short-term storage of the tumors using max tissue storage solution. This solution has been validated on multiple tissues, uh, both uh, from both mouse and human origin, for at least uh, 48 hours at 2 to 8 degrees. The solution prevents the induction of ap apoptosis or necrosis while preserves the cellular composition of the tissues. Here, for instance, we can see the analysis of CT26 mouse tumors before and after storage. And as you see, uh, the, the viability of the cell suspensions were nicely preserved over time. But also the composition and the activation status of the different T populations that we analyze within the tumor. But not only this was uh, preserved, but also the solution helped to prevent um, cellular stress responses in the tissues. In the heat map that you see here on the right side, basically shows the uh, fault changes in the expression levels of genes related to cellular stress pathways. And this basically represents the samples that were stored compared to the fresh samples. And as you see, hardly any changes occurred during um, the storage, meaning that the cells were very nicely preserved during this uh, whole time. Nevertheless, uh, 
when it's not possible to process the samples within uh, a few days, then uh, the solution in this case is to uh, cryopreserve the tumor samples. And for this, we have actually recently released the Max Friesen solution, which is suited for the cryopreservation of primary cells and solid tissues, for instance, tumor cell suspensions or tumor samples. This solution is ready to use, is serum free and also animal component free. And it allows a high preservation of the viability and good recovery of the cells after sowing. And we can see an example of a CD26 mouse tumors that had been processed and the tumor cell suspensions were cryopreserved for uh, around two weeks. And we compared the performance of the solution, which is serum free, uh, versus to another solution containing serum. And as you can see, the performance was equally good or even better in terms of the recovery of viable cells after sowing. Also, the viability was nicely preserved compared to the fresh sample, but also very important, the composition of the cell suspension was nicely preserved when we had a look at the different populations of the tumor cell suspension. So once we are ready uh, to process the tumors, uh, we need to extract the cells we need to analyze. And for this, uh, the gender mass technology is the perfect fit because it combines automated and gentle mechanical disruption of the tissue with also gentle enzymatic digestion. So in the case of tumors, what we do is apply the tumor pieces in the so-called gentle max C tubes, and uh, we uh, use the tumor dissociation kit mouse or human, depending on the type of tumor we want to digest uh, and apply the enzymes inside the tube. And basically, then everything goes into the gentle max octo dissociator reheaters that provides the full automation of the uh, dissociation of the tumor. So basically, this technology allows us the fast, gentle, and reproducible dissociation of tumor samples with the goal of generating viable single cell suspensions with preservation of epitopes that will be necessary for downstream target cell isolation or analysis. And here I would like to highlight that this technology is compatible with the technology from the Tenex Genomics platform. But the gentle mass technology not only allows to generate uh, single cell suspensions, we can also generate nuclei suspensions because for certain types of single cell analysis, we need to generate nuclei, either because um, it's the out input for the analysis or because the type of sample we are using, especially when the tumors are uh, frozen, snap frozen, it's the only option that we have to perform single cell analysis. So in this case, we also use the C-tubes where we place our frozen tumors and instead of an enzymatic digestion, we apply a lysis buffer, uh, which is called nuclear extraction buffer, and everything can be run as well in the Gentle Max Octo dissociator with heaters. The program is really fast. It only involves seven minutes. It's quite gentle and it's performed at cold temperatures. And because it's automated, it allows to generate reproducible results. And also it's possible to process up to eight samples in parallel. So with this, we can generate intact nuclei suspensions. And basically uh, this technology, it's compatible with single nuclei gene expression analysis, also using 10 genomics. We have validated uh, the extraction of nuclei from different types of tissues, uh, fresh, frozen, and also OCT embedded tumors. And as I mentioned, everything is run within the uh, Gentle Max Octo, and we can nicely extract the nuclei afterwards. Here you can see a microscopy image of uh, nuclei extracted from mouse liver and how nicely they look and uh, the few debris that were left. And in the table here, it's just to show some examples of the yields of nuclei that we were able to get from different tissues and mouse tumors. And also recently we have run a single nuclei RNA sequencing from human lung adenocarcinoma. And here I just wanted to show this Disney plot that we generated uh, after the Tenex Genomics uh, analysis using the LoopCell browser. But in case you are interested to get to know more information about this, I invite you to 
uh, watch a webinar that we also recently released focused on the nuclear extraction for single cell, single nuclei RNA sequencing. So once we have our tumor cell suspension, it might be that the suspension is not super clean and there might be some uh, dead cells or debris that we need to clean up in order to run the single cell analysis. For this, we also have uh, several solutions. First of all, it's important to properly filter the sample. And here we can use our MaxSmart strainers that come in uh, different mesh sizes. And the benefit of these strainers is that they fit in both 15 and 50 ml tubes, and they have a special design uh, to allow a better air ventilation and avoid clogging. As I mentioned, sometimes the amount of dead cells present in the tumor cell suspension is a problem to run the uh, genomic analysis afterwards. And for this, we provide a dead cell removal kit, which is uh, a ready to use microbit solution and allows the fast and straightforward depletion of the dead cells present in the sample, which can be done in less than uh, half an hour and actually this can be uh, performed also fully automated when using the automax pro separator here for instance we see an example on the removal of dead cells from a cryopreserved suspension of human ovarian carcinoma that contain uh, less than 30 percent of viable cells and after that cell removal we were able to nicely enrich the viability to over 80 percent but sometimes the tumor cell suspensions can also contain a lot of debris and for this and of course also red blood cells and for this uh, we have also two solutions one is the debris removal solution which is a ready to use density gradient reagent that allows the fast removal of the cell debris and we can run the centrifugation with a full acceleration at full break and then we also provide uh, the red blood cell lysis solution for an efficient analysis of red blood cells. And here we can see how both together these um, products perform with the removal of debris and red blood cells from a suspension of neural cells from adult brain. So once we have our cell suspension nicely cleaned up, we might need to also isolate certain cell types, such as, uh, for instance, the TILs. And this we can perform by applying either magnetic cell separation or multiparameter cell sorting. So we heard already from Lawrence how nicely we can isolate different target cells using MAX technology in three easy steps. So I won't go in detail into the steps because we just learned previously, but I would like to mention that besides uh, performing these steps for um, magnetic cell separation manually, it's possible to run the steps completely in a fully automated way by using the Automax Pro separator. And all together, this technology is also compatible upstream the use of the 10 Genomics platform. So today we said we are focusing on the analysis of uh, TILs within the tumor. And I would like to highlight the TIL microbits because they allow the optimal isolation of TIL populations directly from the dissociated tumor tissue. Basically, these bits they have been specifically titrated to extract the TILs from the tumor because they are a rare population within this tissue with uh, only minimal labeling and allow to reach high purities and high yields after isolation. And also the microbits, uh, they don't induce any apoptosis or activation of the cells. And again, this process can be completely automated when using the Automax Pro. So here we just see some examples of uh, different uh, T-cell populations isolated from different cyanogenic uh, mouse tumors. And you can see in the bulk of the tumor how low the populations were and when we applied the magnetic separation with the t microbits, how nicely we were able to enrich in every case uh, the purity of the cells above 80%. But of course, I don't want to forget about other cell types in, uh, present in the, in the tumor microenvironment that can be interesting for analysis. So besides the TILs that we have just seen, we also provide uh, microbits to isolate tumor cells, applying different um, epitope and also other tumor associated cells, such as fibroblast, endothelial cells or mesenchyma cells. But of course, we can also isolate the cells applying multiparameter cell sorting. 
And here uh, it's very common to use droplet sorters for the uh, sorting of the cells. However, these uh, sorters, they apply electrical charges and a lot of uh, compression and decompression uh, during the procedure that can damage the cells. And they also release a lot of aerosols in the um, atmosphere. So an alternative more gentle for the sorting of uh, specific uh, cell types from the from tumor cell suspension is to apply the max quantito cell sorter. In this case, the complete sorting occurs within the max quantito cartridge. So it's a closed system. Um, it doesn't involve any charges or decompression procedures. So it's very gentle to the cells. And in the end, the sample has a high quality and high viability. And because it's a closed system, there are no aerosols relieved, released into the into the atmosphere. And it's also the max quantito cartridge is a single use is possible. So this avoids uh, cross contamination from sample to sample. In case you are interested in more details about uh, sorting of uh, cells with ma max quantito cell sorter, I also invite you to visit this webinar. So once we have our cells isolated, um, actually be even before sorting, it can be very helpful to pre-enrich using magnetic uh, cell isolation, in particular of TILS, in order to speed up the cell sorting process, save time, and also keep the cells uh, more viable. So I want to show you this example on the value of pre-enrichment of TILS before sorting. So if we have a look, at the uh, so, um, sorting of CD4 positive T cells, uh, for the sorting of 5,000 cells without any pre-enrichment, we would need around an hour only for one sample. However, if we pre-enrich on the CD4 teams to analyze or sort the same amount of cells, we just need a uh, half a minute. So I guess with this, you can uh, perceive the, the value of pre-enrichment of teal populations, especially before sorting, so that we have later a much faster acquisition of the sample. The sample will be much more viable and a better fit for the single cell analysis. And this, of course, also allows to save us cost because we will just uh, we will avoid costs in the in the core facility and we will also sequence the cells we need. So last but not least, once we have everything ready, it is important that we run a quality control before applying the single cell analysis. And for these, the max quant analyzers, they are also a very good fit because we can perform an accurate cell count of viable cells by making use of the volumetric pipetting, which is a nice feature of these uh, flow cytometers that allow absolute cell count in less than a minute without the need of any counting bits. And basically, the cell count is integrated into every automated uh, sample acquisition. So at once, we can count our cells, detect viability, and see if they are in a single cell suspension and also analyze the phenotype. In my last part now of the session, I would like to give some exemplary uh, data that we generated by applying the workflow of steps that I just have presented. So the first study I want to present is the impact of sample preparation of on genomic data quality. For this study, what we did was to analyze different um, tumor types from uh, syngenic mouse tumors, um, and we applied different uh, cleanup steps. So the first step was obviously to dissociate the tumor, and once we had the tumor cell suspension, we filtrated. This was the first cleanup step. Next, we uh, remove the red blood cells remaining in the sample by applying red blood cell lysis. And sec uh, on a third step, we applied uh, the tray removal either one time or two times, depending on the amount of cells present in the sample. And then from uh, after each step, basically, we took an aliquot. And every aliquot, we run a single cell analysis. And what we observed, and here this is the example of the uh, colon tumors that we analyzed. After every cleanup step, we observed an increase in the recovery of nucleated cells in the sample. So in this case, our goal was to reach a 5,000 cells uh, for the analysis, and we see how nicely we can reach this goal by applying all the cleanup steps. 
And not only this, we also evaluated the reproducibility of the technique. And in this case, you can see the example of the uh, breast cancer tumors that we analyzed. So every color represents a uh, different biological and technical replicates, and they pretty much resemble. And then, of course, uh, because of the nice cleanup and reproducibility of the technique, then we were able to properly analyze the tumor heterogeneity. So this is just like a simple analysis we did to analyze and detect different um, T populations and tumor cells uh, within, within the suspension. And the last example I would like to show is the single cell immune profiling of TILS. And in this case, we ran the analysis using ovarian human ovarian carcinoma that also had been stored uh, overnight. And of course, the first step was to dissociate the tumor and filtrate it. And then we ran a dead cell removal and we compared the analysis of TILS from the bulk of the sample or from isolated T cells or B cell populations. So here we see again, this is actually the same data that we have, um, that we saw when we introduced the dead cell removal kit, how nicely we were able to enrich uh, the, bi the viable cells from the cryopreserved cell suspension by applying dead cell removal. And from this, we isolated a uh, different uh, uh, population such as T cells by using also the um, a pan T cell uh, teal microbeads. And we were able to enrich uh, nicely these uh, target cells. What I want to show now is basically what we observed when we ran the analysis of the isolated teals uh, in the single cell immune profiling. And it's basically because we enrich in those populations, we were nicely able to improve the resolution of the analysis. So in the red bars basically indicate the clonotypes of either T cells or B cells that were detected um, within the, the tumor cell suspension. Uh, but as you can see, not every clonotype was detected. And when we ran the analysis in the isolated samples, we were able to nicely characterize all the uh, clonotypes present there. So this shows the value of enriching uh, the tumor cell, uh, the teal population, sorry, before running the analysis, because then we will be able to more clearly see what is going on in the tissue. So now to sum up, I would like to again um, mention that uh, these uh, workflow solutions basically consist on gentle, fast, and automated methods that allow the optimal preparation or two of tumor samples for single cell analysis. And by using these technologies, basically, we help to minimize transcriptional changes. They allow an efficient cleanup that increases the recovery of highly viable and nucleated cells. And also by isolating uh, target cells, we can increase the resolution of the analysis and reduce sequencing costs because we will only sequence the cells we are really interested in. And of course, it's very important, I want to highlight again, to run a QC analysis and run a flow cytometry based QC allows the accurate cell counting of viable cells to ensure that the sample reaches the right standards for, for our analysis. So basically, altogether, this allows to get reliable and high data quality in our single cell analysis. I want to thank you for your attention. We will be happy to take your questions.